1980, I was 15 years old, and I was discovering bands like um, Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin. At the same time, uh, bands that were a part of the CBG, uh, GB scene, uh, Talking Heads, uh, Blondie, the Ramones, I was discovering those bands too. So I never had this like old wave or new wave thing going, it was all wave. The inaugural CBGB's Music Festival opened earlier today, July 5th, with former Nirvana bassist Chris Novoselic giving the keynote speech. It's also set to feature Tommy Ramone, who was a fixture at the club with his band The Ramones, and put CBGB's on the map along with the Talking Heads and Blondie. We asked Novoselic backstage about getting the invite to do the CBGB festival. I looked at the CBGB Fest, and there were some cool bands, uh, excuse to go to New York, I got to make the invited to do the keynote. I have incredible honor and privilege. And so I said yes. Well, I just think of that iconic uh, New York club, uh, just a gritty, uh, real place for uh, the same kind of music. Yeah, not slick. <laughs> I don't think it's slick. As much as its early punk roots, CBGB's was also known as the birthplace of East Coast hardcore. Harkening back to its mid to late 80s past, Webster Hall hosted a gig with Madball and Murphy's Law. Appropriately, Agnostic Front played their classic live album in its entirety, live at CBGB. Roger from Agnostic Front talked about how the CBGB festival fit into their own 30th anniversary. I caught wind of it while, uh, a few months back, and then we happened to be doing this uh, our special 30 year anniversary tour, and part of that we wanted to do some uh, kind of like, um, just special shows around special records, whatever, and we thought maybe the best thing since our 30th anniversary is to do our CBGB's, live at CBGB's um, set, which is a, a monumental, you know, monumental set. People love that. Everybody everybody that's a true agnostic from fan has that record in their collection. It was released in 1989, I believe, on In Effect Records, and it's a classic. So we were, you know, doing that. This is part of our 30th anniversary, just selective shows. And we got a call from the CBGB's festival to say, hey, you know, we want you to come and and play your live at CBGB set at the CBGB's festival. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. It all makes sense. The CBGB festival not only features a weekend slate of bands, including Fishbone, guided by Voices and Degeneration, they're also taking over Times Square for a concert on Saturday, spearheaded by Duff McKagan's Loaded. Also, the festival focuses on movies with panels today and tomorrow and film screenings including End of the Century, The Story of the Ramones, Punk's Not Dead and The Rise and Fall of the Clash, among other films. Tickets are still available and you can check CBGB.com for details and pricing. So